obviously an extremely critical political voice. And, and underneath the high priest, there are other priests um, who, who, from my limited reading, seem to do and fulfill many different roles. It seems, from, from my reading, they lead armies. Um, they seem to mediate legal disputes. They oversee construction projects. You know, this is what I what I've been reading reading from uh, Josephus's books. Um, but is this accurate? Is there? Can you talk a bit about the duties of of maybe an everyday priest that other people that in the the population would interact with? Absolutely. So the priestly families, their relationship should be, and it's about legal. You're absolutely right. It's about legal things. It's about it's about building projects. Um, the whole going to war thing, that's a bit of a problem. It's, it becomes active, uh, an active problem in this Maccabean period, in this wartime period, because there are purity laws uh, uh, associated with the high priest and the priestly families where, you know, um, some priestly families, they shouldn't see blood. They shouldn't. Okay. And that is one of that also... There are other Judean groups, you know, we just talked about the Maccabees and how they, how them and other groups were not happy with, with the administration in the 170s. But it also appears to be clear that, that there are many Judean groups that were very not happy with the high priest going to war, for example, and riding on horses and experiencing, you know, and like harming individuals and possibly uh, uh, experiencing blood. Um, so, so there's lots of different in a way in a way like theological discussions about about which what can a high priest what can a high priest do and what can he not do now we don't have a significant discussion of evidence from this time period we know that the uh, rabbinic sources later discuss this at length and uh, and that's of course a significant time period later 3 4 500 years later um and and it becomes continues to be a discussion in the middle ages um but the the role of the high priest is is very very central okay so it seems like just the 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 act of a priest being even tangentially involved in an army or violence that itself would be cause for religious discontent amongst portions of the population is that, is that accurate yeah, some some groups would think that that causes impurity, and to other groups it seems to be acceptable in times of war, and to other groups that is these impurity that's that's an impurity that has occurred called miasma in Greek, and that is a problem, and you cannot have that. So, and that's in this time period, Judaism is still very very much in fluid. And so the question is, we can't really say what is the one position on this because there's many, many varying positions, right? And, and this is what's being negotiated at this time period. And it gets challenged every time new, um, well, in a way, every, every time new circumstances arise that, that cause problems for some groups.